Hey guys, I'm back with another beer review. We got Stanaman this time. Stanaman in the house. This one is called Silent Killer. Because it is double meshed, it takes a lot of time to do that, the double meshing. And it is single hopped, but it comes in at, due to the double meshing, at 13% ABV. <laughs> so we're gonna open it. They are from Herzold in Belgium. So we're gonna see what this 13% Strong beer uh, does deliver to us. I think it's a blonde style wise. It isn't on the bottle. So I don't know if it's a blonde or a brown or something like that. It is not barrel aged. That is, that's the thing that's for sure. It isn't on the bottle and I'm sure it isn't barrel aged. Therefore, the double meshing makes indeed that higher ABV of 13% guys. Again, uh, a really high ABV beer this time. But these ones you can enjoy, like I told you before. You can enjoy a little bit longer when your evening, when the when the evening falls and you are looking or watching TV and enjoying these beers with a higher ABV. Okay, um, I'm gonna use my lighter because I forgot again my opener. It's not here. No, it's not here. Whoa! Bam! A lot of com uh, CO2, but not a gusher, but loads of gas traps in this one. I didn't need even a sound effect, guys. I didn't need, even need a sound effect. It was no sound effect. It was really me opening this one. So I'm hoping this one is still nice, taste-wise. It's not uh, like something's uh, like infected, we call it. Okay, I hope it's not, but I think it's not. Uh, I guess smell the booziness already. So okay, even if it's complex and it's uh, it took a lot of a lot of loads of time, it took loads of time to make. It is still really complex, the double meshing technique. So we're gonna get it on the nose first, like always, guys. Cheers. <laughs> A floral thing, really a floral thing, some spices. And with our Belgium yeasts, I get banana. I really get banana, banana on the nose. A little bit of apricot. I think it's pronounced apricot. Aprico or apricot. Yeah, I think it's like that. So, um, okay, we're gonna dive in. Without any further ado, we're gonna dive in. This one isn't going to be a long, long video, but uh, we're gonna try it. Cheers, guys. I took a huge sip again. Mm. It is really fruity. I get some chocolate notes. This is due to the double meshing. It has sweetness to it. But then again, the alcohol burn is present. But it feels so silky smooth in the mouth. It's velvety. That double meshing technique, okay, it takes loads of time, time, time to, to do it, but it's well worth it. That's for sh that's the thing I'm sure of. It is well worth it to do a double meshing for these styles. Like, yeah, it makes it even more complex, more creamy, more thick, more full in taste. It is really full in taste. Like I told you, it's velvety, it's full, it's creamy. Yeah, it's, uh, that's, that, that, that's an amazing part. It has some nice bitterness also at the end. But the, the chocolate thing, the cacao, is something special. Because when you look at the beer, it's like hazy, orange color to it. There are some spices also in this one. Ow! I think a little bit of coriander, but it is sweet. Yeah, it's a very special one. Kinda boozy, your banana, your apricot, then your um, velvety things, like the fullness of it. Oh yeah. The chocolate thing, maybe they use some chocolate malts in there because it has that amber color to it, but um, yeah, really special one. 
I'm gonna give this 7 to 7.5 out of 10. I'm not personally a fan, but I like the fullness of it, the smoothness, the creaminess to it. That's the thing I like. So this double meshing technique isn't going, you aren't going to find that much just because it, because it takes too much time, guys. But uh, yeah, you get yourself a 13% 30, a ABV beer. That's another story, of course. So we're gonna round it up. Thanks for watching, and don't forget, a beer day keeps the Cheers.